So guys, today everything's thawed out. We were able to take showers and have running water again. The Lord blessed us in that aspect. So today we feel like getting out and doing a little work. The new project is, since the boys are out of school, we're going to work on their tree fort, which is their Christmas. It's just going to be a little bit late getting it, getting it put together for them. But we're going to start the day by welding up some brackets to attach the boards to the tree. all the welding for the brackets for the tree fort slash tree house to attach the wood to the trees last video I showed you these got growth spacers for the tree to grow three inches actually it goes like this and the cross members the main cross members beside the tree running horizontal sit on this and through bolt through this top one with lags into the tree then I'm gonna box in around the tree, so I'm gonna have two short cross members that go across and tie between those two long ones that expand, that go to full span. So I went ahead and made two of the, two of these. These are just gonna lag in up under, and it's gonna rest on that cross member is gonna rest on top of it. just a little extra support. Probably don't need it, but my youngins are gonna be playing on it, so ain't nothing but a little bit more time. And we, this is all scrap pipe and stuff off our scrap pile, so left over from other projects. Then I made four of these. Again, the three inch growth spacers. These are for the kicker braces. They're gonna be running on a 45 degree angle from the, and four points. There's four of these, four points on the tree that go up at an angle to the four corners and brace. Cause this tree fort's only gonna, it's gonna be a platform solely supported by the tree in the center of it. So we're gonna kick the four corners down to it to, to sturdy it up and to carry the load on the on the outer edges. And I'll just, once I got the board in there, I'll th drill a hole and through bolt this, drill the steel and wood, wood all at one time and through bolt this or whatever fasteners I dig up out my out my bucket. That'll work, you know? So that, that'd be like this. And this was all, all scrap metal. Just kind of making use of what I got, saving on some welding and stuff. So kind of made a bend in there to make it work, but she'll work fine. All right, so this is the tree that we're building on right here. Pretty solid old hardwood tree. So let me put you on the tripod and we'll get started. I'm back out here at the tree fort today with the boys working on it. And I figured I'd take the time to answer a question that keeps coming up. And that's, how do you have the skills to do such a broad range of work and it turn out fairly decent in the end? And the answer to that is, it's not my skills that I rely on. I rely on God. And it, and that's that's where it comes from. It's not from this old boy. It's God's handiwork. So Proverbs 16.3 tells us, to commit our works to the Lord and he'll establish our thoughts. And I take that and I turn, try to turn it into a daily prayer, that verse. And I ask God, as I commit this work to you, Lord, I ask you to guide me through it and show me show me how to do this work and to help me be safe and do it, do it in a way that brings honor and glory to you. And it all works out because it's God, not, not this old boy, like I said. So it doesn't matter if you're at a bank sitting behind a desk at a corporate job, cashier at Walmart, whatever you do that day, if you're a Christian, commit that work to the Lord and ask him to, to step in and be in control of it and, and let his honor and his glory come from it some kind of way. And if you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, he'll guide you somewhere else and, and show, you, show you the way because all good things come from the Lord. So let's get it done. So 
guys, we got the frame up on the tree. Now we can start decking the floor, but here's what we got. See, that's how it just rides on top and presses down and that holds some of the weight there as an extra support. And that one, it sits on the other one through bolts. I also got some structural quarter 20 self tappers that go from wood to metal. Got plenty of like 10 and 12 inch lags and everything. We have a bunch of used lag bolts from some of the demo work we've done. So we put them to use. Got our braces on the tree. Never done this before, but I think, I think this will work. Also, add lags in these corners for the braces and each, each one of these floor joists, I have a lag in those as well. So I don't have to have any, any kind of brackets or anything to hold them. Think about adding some more bracing on it. We'll see how it stiffens up after we put the floor on. Well, another day's come to an end. Got dark on us real quick today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. And as always, remember, God gets the glory for the good in our lives. And Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. I hope he's yours. God bless. <laughs>